Shape Your Place is back at Whist Beach Library for another fantastic event. Hi Alison again. Hello. <laughs> right, so what, what's, what's occurring? What's happening? What's the next event? Well, we're having a giant book sale here at the library on Saturday the 31st of March. Yes, and? And um, we're going to have refreshments and homemade cakes. Homemade cakes? Homemade cakes. Are you making the cake? I am making some oh, cakes, yes. Oh, can you cook? I can. Oh, that, that's a good start then. Um, Who's running the, the event? Um, it's being organised by the Friends of Whiz Beach Library, and they're I a group of volunteers mm. who have the interests of Whiz Beach Library at their heart. I didn't know there was a Friends of Whiz Beach there Library. Is. Oh, is that available for anybody to join? Any, can, anybody can join, and the more members, the better. And that's just, you come into the library and you can get a leaflet? Or we what? meet uh, once a month. There are leaflets in the library if you want to join and find out a little bit more about us. Oh, that, um, that, that sounds really interesting, actually. It is, and we, we, uh, we're fundraising. Oh, what are you fundraising for? And we're fundraising to get some tapestries, which were donated to our uh, the original Wisbeach Library by the Women's Guild, rehung in the library. That sounds excellent. You know, I, don't, I really don't remember any tapestries in the old library. That's really bad. Um, how many people are in the Friends? Uh, at the moment, we, we are a, a small number. We're ten. Oh, so you, I mean, you, you would welcome new members? We would. We've only been running um, about four months now, and we would welcome new members. Because there's quite a lot going on at the library, isn't there? That probably Loads. people don't realise. I mean, there's online book clubs and everything. We've got we have book clubs that meet at the library. We have reading for relaxation groups. We do. Um, we have what we call our engage events. We're aimed at the over fifties. We've got computers. We've got so so much. Please, you know, people should come in and have a look what we're actually doing. Right then, going back to your giant book sale. Do you mind if Leah asks you a few questions? Not at all. Okay, over to you, Leah. How much money do the Fens hope to raise, to raise to hang the tapestries? It's not going to be cheap, unfortunately. Um, we, we, we want to raise around about £1,000, um, which is what the cost will be to have the specialist frames made to hang the tapestries. Approximately, how many books do you have? Well, there'll be hundreds of books on sale, hundreds and hundreds, um, and that does include children's books and local history books. Where have the books come from? They've come from all around the county. They're discarded books, old stock, damaged stock from all around Cambridgeshire and all the different libraries. Thank, thank, thank you for your time. Thank you. Okay then, so just remind us again, when is the giant book giant sale happening? The giant book sale is Saturday the 31st of March and it's at 10 o'clock till 2.30 and there's some lovely yummy cakes on sale. Oh, before we go, just a quick preview of upcoming events. We've got. Um, oh, she's having to look. She's having to look at a piece of paper now. Piece of paper. <laughs> we've got in April. We've got travels in India by a local author called Anne Highland. Yes. And in May we've got some lace making demonstration. Dem ladies coming in to do a lace making demonstration. <laughs> Um, can we come back and maybe have a look at those? You're then? more than welcome. All right, then. Well, thank you very much from Shape Your Place. Thank you to Alison. Thank you. And Leah. Well done, Leah. Thank you very much. Thank you.